combination, turn two, the 33 in the wall hard. Michael Walter getting into the wall in turn number two, and he comes to a stop, bringing out our second caution of the night. See, my, see Michael moving around, takes the wind in and out to let the, know that the emergency crew know that he's okay, but a lot of damage to that Monaco Chevrolet, front and rear. Physically probably okay, but obviously frustrated. Yeah, it hurts your pride. You know, this is a big week for him. I mean, we're only on lap 16, and, uh, you know, just real disappointing. Let's look at the replay. Take a look at what happened to Michael here. He just looks like he just got sideways. Uh, he was right around the 17 of David Rudum. Looked like Ted Musgrave is the one that did the damage to the front of that truck. So Ted Musgrave in the one truck has to have some damage. It looked like Kenny Schrader was also right there, right behind Michael. Yeah, there's Michael trying to get on the inside of David Rudum, and it just ran out a little bit of room. You see a hard contact with Ted Musgrave. See Michael on the inside. This is Kenny Schrader's on board. Michael's on the inside. Got a little bit loose, had to move up the hill to chase it, didn't want to take out David Rudiman, lost control, made hard contact with the outside wall. Here. Unbelievable. Well, you know, see, that's the hardest thing about short track racing. You can see Michael, this is his quarter panel. We're coming off at of turn four. Let's listen. You heard the initial contact with the outside wall, and then we heard Ted Musgrave come along. You know, I just put myself in a bad position. I, I, I trusted that David would give me the corner because I, you know, I'd driven up beside of him. And you just have to drive your truck. You can't be trying to figure out that you think you know what someone else is going to do. And I just messed up. Uh, sometimes I think I'm not smart enough to do this job, Ray. I had a great truck. The truck was capable of winning. Andy Petrie gave me a Monaco's coach of Chevy that was just right. And I knew it today, and I couldn't wait to race tonight. I was so pumped up. And uh, darn it. I hate when I do dumb things, and that's just a dumb thing, so I don't know. You know, what do you do? You just Tell us about the brickyard. Is it going to be better there? Well, how could it be any worse? So <laughs> Good point. We've uh, we've generally been really smart with our cars and our equipment, and very very seldom do I do something this boneheaded, so I'm going to have to have some counseling over this one.